How's it going guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to set up your Dazzle DVD recorder or you know call it a PVR nowadays. So what you're going to need is of course the Dazzle. I got that at Best Buy. It's about 30 bucks. Um, other things you're going to need is uh, one, two of these two-sided RCA composite cables. You can buy them for like 20 bucks, 10 bucks around there. Um, you're gonna need three, two female and one male uh, RCA splitter. You'll find them for like five bucks at Radio Shack and stuff like that. And you're gonna need um, these guys right here. These are barrel connectors. Um, usually they sell them at like Radio Shack when they're like uh, they're molded together. But I bought them separate, so you need two. Of these are for audio, the red and black one. And this one's for video, so make sure you get the video one and the audio one. And of course, I'm going to be hooking up to my PS3. And uh, just a little bonus, I'm also going to be um, utilizing my speaker system. So, um, yeah, I get surround sound and my Turtle Beaches. So, you know, when I'm playing late night Call of Duty, I can just use one of those guys. Um, it's going to be right over here, yeah. Turtle Beach. All right. Cool. So, to start off, what you're going to do is you're going to grab your composite cables and splitters. Splitters should be first, actually. And your barrel connectors. Alright. Oh, and by the way, this is for if you don't have um, um, the output from your TV. So, as you can see on my TV, I'll turn it around real quick. As you can see, I only have an input. I gotta take this guy out because I need it. Alright. And um what else are you gonna need is behind your PS3, you know how you have that um this guy right here, instead of running HDMI like this, that, that red one right there. Um you're gonna get the three ones out of your PS3. It should have came with your PS3 if anything. Alright. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab where to put those barrel connectors right over here. Grab your barrel connectors. Alright. And hold on, let me run this through my the bottom of my teeth. My uh what you wanna call it? Stand. And I think I dropped the barrel connector. Yeah I did. Hold on one sec. I'm gonna put this down real quick. Alright, so I ran it through the bottom of my hole down there. So I've gone down here too. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually plug one of these into each port. So make sure you get the right one to each one. So this one goes in here. Alright. This goes into red. So I'm trying to do this with one hand, so it kind of sucks. Alright, and this into the white. Alright, and then you're going to grab your splitters. Uh, these guys are right here. And then one into each barrel connector. Alright. And as a heads up, um, when you use a Dazzle, you can't um, play in HD. You're gonna have to play your games in um, standard definition, aka without your HDMI cable. Oh, I'm gonna put this down real quick and I'll show you what it looks like. Right now it looks like this. Alright, so now you got your three barrels and they're all split up. Alright, now what you do from here is you grab your composite cables. Here's one of them. Um, so you're going to put one yellow into the yellow, 
and this is the one that's gonna run to my TV. So take the yellow, and um, you just gotta be careful because some of them, um, this one right here, I had to kind of tear apart. Uh, how can I show this? Yeah. So I can run the other side to the um, my TV. So oh, I'll show you how to do that first. So the yellow into the yellow. And then you're gonna run this, the other yellow side, into the back of the new TV. So let me put this down real quick. All right, and I'm gonna put it right in the yellow. Because basically branching off one to the TV, one into the dazzle, we'll get to that in a bit. And then you're going to get the other two. Off this side. And one into the red, one to the white. Alright, one white. And one into the red. Okay, now. Alright. And what you're going to do from here is you're going to grab your dazzle. Open this guy up. And by the way, you actually don't need a CD drive in your computer. Because uh, mine's broken. And all I had to do is go to um, the dazzle website. I'll probably put a link in the description. Um, just download the drivers and you should be ready to go. And I'll go over that in a little bit. Let's get your dazzle. Go to your computer. It's right here. I'm gonna go back to the other. Let me just plug this in. Let's find out. Alright, that yeah, that's good. Sorry, I only have one port in the front and that's for my mouse. Alright, and I'm gonna grab the other composite cable. This guy. Right over here. And then what you're gonna do is actually before we do that, if you want your turtle beaches, yeah, let's do the turtle beaches. Alright. So from the first composite cable, you're gonna grab this side right here. And that's gonna go into your turtle beaches. Since you have that splitter thing. This is what it looks like. I mean the the pass through adapter. So it look like this, right? And then you're gonna plug this matching but one to the white. Alright. And one to the red. So this is gonna go right into my speaker system and we should be ready to go with the my own audio, so let me just plug these guys in. Goes back here. Actually, before we do that, no, we should be good. Never mind. All right, let me just plug this in real quick. see back there either. Alright, that should be good. Alright, now we're just going to come back on here. Alright, so still got the spoons in the front. Now we're just going to connect these guys to the dazzle. Alright, this goes in here. I'll probably post a little worded description in the, yeah, description to help you guys out a little bit because this is really hard stuff. I thought I just needed to buy the dazzle and I was all good, but I was wrong. Alright, and this goes into here. Alright, so this is all set up. Splitters are split. Oh, this guy gets... Oh, this is long right there. Alright. I just throw all that crap in the back. Alright, and the dazzle will take the other side of that one we just put in. So, hold on, let me just put this down. Alright. Now 
long sound like that. So your dazzle, got one on each one. All right. So that's really simple, actually. That's pretty much it. So I can just put over here, make it look all nice, and there we go. And then I'll probably just throw on the speakers just to make sure it's working. All right. And this is part of my PS3. All right. Let's change the channel. Yep, so that's working. Then what you have to do now is everything is set up, make sure that it's there, and from here, from what you see on the TV, you're actually gonna go over to display and settings All right. and video output and what you can do is you can go down to composite hit X and change from here your screen's going to go black but what you're going to do is with your remote change it to audio video and it should display your PS3 All right and hit yes 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 and there you go. So you are now on standard definition. And from here, what you do is you go over to your computer. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm still running Windows XP, but all right. Yeah, what you're gonna do here is gonna go run Windows Movie Maker. Cause you actually don't need Dazzle unless you want to do like super uber editing. And on the top right, I mean top left, you're gonna hit Capture from Video Device. That's kind of blurry, but just click this link right there and let that go. All right, and hit next. And you can just name it whatever, but I'll just show you what it looks like. Next, and it should load up what's on your screen. There you go. There's my screen, and there's my TV, and let's grab my controller. All right, so whatever I do, my screen is going to go on the computer. So left up and you know just go. Yep, so everything is good to go. Alright, and that's pretty much it guys. I mean if you have any more questions, post a comment. Um but yeah, you really don't need anything else as for software unless you want to do montages and stuff. Um I'll also post a video later to see what the quality is. It's okay, but it's not eh, it could do a little better, but it's great for beginners, alright? Cool, I will see you guys later.